Have you been looking for that special feature for your outdoor living area? Well, you found it. Atlantic's beautiful color changing color falls bundle will delight viewers day and night. A glistening curtain of water enhancing any hardscape wall in sunlight, the color falls transforms at dusk, glowing with captivating color after dark. This easy to install water feature will be the centerpiece of your backyard oasis. In this video, we'll show you how to build this complete water feature step by step from preparing the base and building the basin surround to installing the plumbing and capping the columns with only one exception. For this video, we dry stack the block. You'll be gluing the blocks together with construction adhesive following manufacturer's guidelines. We recommend you watch it all the way through, then take it outside with you. You can pause whenever you need to, we won't mind. Depending on where you're starting from, start to finish, with the wall stones close by and no interruptions, this installation should take two people less than a day to complete. You'll need tools. For the layout, mark out paint, a tape measure, two foot and four foot levels, and a straight two by four. For the excavation, a wheelbarrow, shovel, and tamper. For the stone, a lump hammer or mallet, and a grinder or chisel. For the plumbing, a large wrench, a screwdriver or nut driver, and tubing cutters or a PVC saw. Most manufacturers recommend setting their stones on a 4 inch bed of tamped sand, stone dust or screenings. You'll need about 8 cubic feet. You will of course also need wall stone and the stone manufacturer's recommended construction adhesive. Unlike many other types of hardscape installations, Atlantic's color changing color falls bundle can either be built from scratch or added to any existing hardscape wall. In this video, we'll show you how to add the color fall spillway and the formal spillway basin to an existing wall and columns built of 4 by 8 by 12 inch blocks using trapezoidal stones to create a curved front wall but the components will accommodate just about any block or stone you desire. Let's get started. If you're starting from scratch, prepare the base by digging out a 4 foot by 6 foot area to about 6 inches below final grade. Tamp the subsoil, then add 8 to 10 cubic feet of screenings or damp sand and tamp again. Carefully level the base to end up about 2 inches below grade. To demonstrate how versatile the color changing color falls bundle is, we'll be adding it to an existing wall in this video. Remove the soil to a depth of about 2 inches below the bottom of the wall. Tamp the subsoil, then add the screenings and tamp again. Finally, carefully level the base to end up at the same level as the bottom of the existing wall. The next step is to pass a length of inch and a half flexible pipe from the bottom of the wall to the back, about 8 inches in from the corner as shown. We removed a section of block, but you could also dig the pipe under the wall or drill through the wall with a 2 inch core bit. If you're installing an autofill, which is strongly recommended, pass the fill line through or under the wall about 8 inches from the right corner at the same time. Set the formal spillway basin in place to check that the pipes fit in the molded channels in the bottom of the basin. Then install the plumbing, which is easiest to do before installing the blocks around. Drill a 7 8 inch hole where indicated for the autofill. Remove the retaining nut on the autofill, leaving the washer in place, and apply 3 to 4 turns of sealant tape to the threads. Insert the autofill from the inside out and reinstall the retaining nut. Thread the half inch funny pipe adapter onto the autofill, then push the funny pipe onto the barbs of the adapter. Next, disassemble the single union valve and apply 3 to 4 turns of sealant tape to the threads of the male end with the retaining ring. Install the male end of the valve assembly in the bulkhead fitting, making sure the retaining ring is in place. Refer to the included instructions as needed. Install a male thread adapter to the outlet of the pump.
then glue in the 90 degree elbow. Glue the nipple into the street elbow, then glue the valve to the nipple. Finally, reassemble the valve to complete the pump assembly. Now finish the plumbing outside the basin. Apply three to four turns of sealant tape to the threads of the threaded elbow and install in the outside of the bulkhead fitting, oriented downward. Cut a six inch length of pipe and glue it to the remaining 90 degree elbow. Then glue the other end of the short pipe to the threaded elbow. Then, glue the bottom elbow into the pipe going through the wall. Atlantic's formal spillway basins accommodate most common engineered stone dimensions without cutting. We're using a curved wall solution by Belgard for this video, but you could also create a rectangular enclosure. The choice is up to you. Set the first course around the formal spillway basin, then bond the next courses of stone with adhesive following manufacturer's recommendations adjusting or cutting as needed. Finish the four wall courses to 16 inches. You will eventually need to remove the pump for service or replacement, so you must make provisions for the cord at this point. In the back wall, cut a groove or leave a space large enough for the plug of the pump to pass through the back wall, either in the fourth course or between the fourth and fifth courses. Build the back wall up another course and the columns up another five courses carefully measuring to leave 48 inches between the columns. In the space between the columns, stack the outer stones flat as shown, leaving a space at the center for three vertical stones. Before installing them, cut one half inch off the long dimension of the three stones to make them each 11 and a half inches long. Set them side by side, broadside to the front, in the center of the wall, one inch back from the front edge. This will create a relief panel and a one half inch deep notch for the lip of the color falls. Now it's time to install the color falls. Apply three to four turns of sealant tape to the threads of a male adapter and install it in the center inlet of the color falls. Test the color falls for fit in the half inch notch. Measure and cut the inch and a half flexible PVC pipe and glue into the elbow. We don't show it here, but you'll now want to lift the front lip of the color falls to apply a bead of silicone, not permanent adhesive, to the block where the color falls will be seated. The silicone will allow you to remove the color falls in the future if desired. Seat the lip of the color falls in the silicone, aligning the small extrusions at the front of the lip with the recessed stone edge so the lip protrudes about half an inch. Apply silicone, not permanent adhesive, to the top of the color falls and secure it with capstones to complete the center wall. Again, using silicone instead of adhesive allows for the removal of the color falls for maintenance or replacement if necessary. Add one additional layer of stones to the columns, then cap with six blocks each. measure to ensure the overhang is even all the way around. Fill the formal spillway basin until the autofill float rises. Check for proper function and adjust as necessary. Cap the pump chamber and install the splash mat. Time to light her up. After downloading and installing the InfoColor app on your phone or tablet, apply a dab of the included dielectric grease to the plug of the color falls and securely tighten to the outlet of the InfoColor module. Apply another dab to the plug of the module and connect securely to the transformer. Plug in the module and test. You're now ready to program your InfoColor color falls. See the manual for details. Congratulations on completing your beautiful Atlantic color changing color falls water feature. With no organics in the water, maintenance will be a breeze. Just net out any leaves or clippings on a regular basis. That's it. So now, sit back and enjoy!